For the safe use of the FTRD, there are a few important aspects to consider, which are presented in this compact video. You can also find this information on our product-specific info sheets. Before use and setup of the FTRD, it is recommended to mark the target tissue with coagulation points, for example with the FTRD marking probe. Ensure that the release thread is not wound around the snare shaft throughout assembly. This can otherwise make clip application difficult or even impossible. To start, place the application cap only lightly on the endoscope tip. The release thread must enter the working channel vertically and not conceal any of the endoscope functions. The working channel should be located directly next to the snare shaft tube, so that the working channel outlet remains clear. Slide the cap further onto the endoscope shaft with slight lateral tilting movements, which also protects the endoscope sleeve. During assembly, it must be ensured that the clip remains correctly positioned on the application cap. It must not be twisted or caught by the thread. The cap should not be pressed against the hand or table during assembly as this could damage the cap. The cap must be pushed onto the endoscope until the endoscope tip abuts against the endoscope stoppers in the cap and are no longer to be seen in the endoscopic image. While inserting the FTRD grasper into the working channel, it must be ensured that the thread remains slightly tensioned, otherwise it may wind itself around the instrument, making clip application difficult or even impossible. Therefore, the release thread should be wound up by turning the hand wheel clockwise until a slight tension can be felt. Should the thread become loose when inserting the grasper, the hand wheel can be pressed against the upper body to prevent the thread from unrolling or becoming slack. When using the FTRD grasper, it must be ensured that the instrument tip is sufficiently drawn into the application cap and remains in this position while the clip is released. Otherwise, the clip may be applied to the instrument shaft or parts of the branches, and the instrument may become attached to the tissue as a result. Before clip application, it should be ensured that the endoscope is fixed, for example, by holding it firmly, so that the endoscope does not slip off the target tissue during clip application. Make sure that the clip has been properly applied before resection begins. If the clip has been successfully applied, the white ring will have moved forwards to the edge of the cap. It must remain visible and be observed in the endoscopic image. Only when the white ring has moved fully forwards to the edge of the cap, you can be sure that the clip has been applied. Especially when the endoscope is twisted, for example in the colon, the hand wheel should be turned as far as possible. It may be necessary to reach back and turn it again, so that the force can be transmitted and the clip applied. The part of the snare shaft that is not inserted, especially the black bordered area above the handle, must be as straight as possible and not kinked or coiled. Otherwise, this can make snare closure difficult or even impossible. After the clip has been applied, give the command to release the snare safety lock. Pull the sliding handle backwards until resistance is reached and hold it in this position. Activate the HF current for the final resection after the snare is securely closed around the tissue. After resection of the captured tissue, retrieve the specimen from the patient by removing the endoscope while keeping the FTRD grasper closed 